mean, I have to say, if we, so this question, it says, women as city builders, right? It's the title of the panel. So we have spent two weeks now trying to figure out how to address this question. <laughs> um, because no one wants to say women don't build towers. They do. Um, no one wants to say women have community vision and men have vision vision. Um, <laughs> We've all said, you know, if the makeup of this panel were different, racially, class-wise, mm -hmm. ethnic-wise, you know, community, geography-wise, it would be different. And yet there is something about a woman's gaze, a woman's vision. I mean, she had assimilating children in chapter number four. I, I don't think you'd find that in a city planning book by John Jacobs. Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we've, we've, we've talked about this uh, over the last few weeks, but I mean, there are, to me, there are two sort of undeniable things that set women apart from men. We can bear birth and nurture children. That's undeniable. And we're very good at using our gender as a platform to talk from. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's our problem. <laughs> but, well, I, you know, but I'm not sure anymore that, funnily enough, um, and English isn't my first language, so please forgive me. We no long, women no longer have the monopoly on what we have dubbed female values, mm. as men no longer have the monopoly on what we call male values, whereas maybe pre previously they did. There's a reason we call it male and female values, and we call it hard and soft values. Um, Yes, I think that we bring, as, as a group, we bring something to the community and to every industry that has embraced women and different races and ages and genders and so on. I certainly am grateful to my mother's and grandmother's generation that they paved the way for me. I'm not sure anymore that there is a, a grouped difference between men and women mm. um, and, and not as city builders, but I feel confident that we have to be here in order to co contribute to the discussion. Laura. Well, I think that women have played a huge role in urban design in the Bloomberg administration, and I'll be curious to see if there's a male head of city planning, whether they will do social seating and all the you know, things that Amanda has really brought to urban life to make plazas hospitable so people can actually turn and talk to each <laughs> other as opposed to sitting in isolated Amanda places. Burns. And you know, and, and in my world, actually, the um, the Park Conservancy world, Betsy Barlow Rogers, really took back the you know central. She started the idea of a public-private partnership, the first public-private partnership to take back a park. And um, and then I think of Warry Price at the Battery, who's also doing that, and Madeline Wills, who's here. And these are all almost all women, and also in in um, Brooklyn Bridge Park, Regina Meyer. So I, and, and you know, I think women treat these landscapes very experientially. What will the mother and the child do when they walk into the park? Where will they go? What, you know, can we give the kids fishing poles at the Harlem Mirror? What kind of programming are we going to do to address what you were saying, of like to build community in the park? And, it, and it's all very human. Because you're talking about putting yourself in the head of someone who's deciding right. are they going right and left. Exactly. You talked about That's imagining. That's what I'm talking about, like putting yourself in the shoes of the person experiencing the place. You know, where will the lovers go? Where will, you know, where, where do you propose? It's just all these scenarios of how are people in public space? Well, and I think, I think that the, the question just always has to be asked, who's, who's talking and who's not? Like, who's here and who's not here? I think that's a, a really important question. Um, and, and the fact is, I, I don't know as much in the world of planning and here and versus San Francisco, but the fact is men still hold the, more of the jobs, more of the power. And, and regardless of, of how we've changed and how we approach, that, that's still a fact and power is power. 